Blaze and I are in the Salmon Headwaters today, and uh, if you remember from the advisory that, uh, this morning, we uh, knew there was some surface hoar out here before this uh, yesterday's storm. It was buried about oh, 8 to 12 inches deep, and uh, it's been a little bit of a concern, having a few little uh, slides triggered on it, but uh, the big question this morning was, what's this uh, new load uh, doing to it? And uh, this area got about 6 or 8 inches of snow during the storm yesterday. Now the surface hoard is about 16 to 18 inches down. And uh, it turns out it's quite sensitive. Uh, it's been avalanche hunting today. We've remotely triggered about five slides. Uh, the biggest uh, was several hundred feet wide and uh, about 16 to 18 inches deep. We're here on a, on a northerly aspect. Uh, it's about uh, 9,100 feet and the slope angle is about 28 degrees. That's about as steep as I really want to be on here today. And uh, we're going to do an ECT, an extended column test, and see what sort of results we get. Look down here, this surface core shows up as a really obvious stripe here. Just really little feathery crystals. Uh, this slab's pretty precariously balanced on that. Doesn't take much to tip those crystals over and this thing runs downhill. These things propagate a pretty surprising distance. It looks like we got one failure on, uh, there's actually a secondary surface hoar layer in here. But we're going to keep going. Okay, that's the one that we've been most concerned about. That was a 12th tap. Block slides right off. You look at what it's sliding on. Doesn't even get any to stay on this crystal card. Real feathery surface hoar grains. This is a really dangerous weak layer. We've had moderate danger for about a month, and uh, at least in some portions of our region, it's, uh, it's game time. Half time's over.